O Devi, Goddess. Mm. While Lalita joyfully performs the Arati ceremony to you and the other Sakis worship you with new auspicious songs and flowers. Can this maid servant to whom you are dearer than billions of lives worship you with her hair Oh, Devi. See the beauty. Lalita is making the performance of Arati. Means, Lalita means leader of the Sakhi is making Arati. So, the Pujari is also, we have to feel that he is Lalita Sakhi leader of all. Who is doing the uh, arti? And other sakis means all sakhi, this sakhi, sakhi also coming, gopi is also coming, and manjari is also coming. They are singing and offering to you. So when we attend the RGB, in this mode we have to attend. Who is the doing RT? <clears throat> Maybe I see Pujari, but he's a Lalita Sakhi. And we come here as per my consciousness, we are gopi. Only I understand that I am a soul. I understand that I am in goodness or pure goodness or Vishuddha Sattva in my Saru. As per your consciousness, you will relish like that. Where con what consciousness you are, you will relish like that. Understand? Read again and understand that. Yeah. O Devi, Goddess, while Lalita huh? joyfully performs the Arati ceremony, to you and the other Sakis worship you with new auspicious songs yes, and yes. flowers. Can this maid servant? To whom you are dearer than billions of lives, worship you with her hair. <laughs> as for the as as that, not like when you meet up as that of the consciousness we serve. We don't like to go is also one asta. We like to go, but we not relate is also one asta. And we like to go and we relate in Gopi Bhav is also one asta. We like to go and relate with the Sakhi Bhav is also one asta. 
and when we like to go and relate with the manjari vow is astar one astar so gopinath will actually explain you this radhe radhe um i i try to be a parrot try to repeat uh, what i have understood from guru the um when we are standing in front of radha mohan in the arti um guru dev always says where do our eyes first go to whom they first go do they go to mohan or do they go to radha or do they go to the sakis or even do we see guru manjari rupa manjari on the altar so that what guru dev says is the astar the level of our bhav of our consciousness but also of the guru kripa i would say to give us the chakshu anadila joy to give us this divine eyes also the ointment of prema to see also the the different bhavs in the altar so our uh, if whoever has seen radha mohan the altar here knows that mohan is very very captivating it's very difficult to not see him you know he's always there very present showing his all his beauty in his tri banga in his beautiful complexion and we know his rasik shaker so how can we not see him no but this is what happens to us is that we, when we see him then we lo- then we lost because he will capture us and take us again in many different directions and ways that's what gurudev always says so through gurudev we learn how to focus on radharani and uh, a few weeks ago when gurudev was in front of the altar uh, it was actually sharad purnima we made a very nice program and uh, that's the day when the date is come out uh, takuji comes out and and and, and relishes the ras purnima and we made it very nicely you know we 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 felt that we made it a beautiful uh, lila darshan and we were focusing on on radha and mohan our eyes were only there and when gurudev came for darshan he, he was also happy he didn't say anything but the evening itself he felt a lot of pain because he felt that the sakis had not gotten the right shringa they were not really shining and then guru dev explained to us that we have to first give our heart and soul to the sakis and the, our guru mantra and to them this is the way then we can reach radha and krishna we cannot directly go there and do their shringa no we have to go through that path and that was such an an eye opener for us that the guru dev always shows us no where we have to put our focus and attention and we can see them as sakis but we can also of course we see them as our our leader manjaris who are like showing us how to serve and how to do the perfect seva and so i was very much touched by this experience that guru dev said that he he always looks first to the sakis and manjaris to the yuteshwaris to our group leaders and gives the pranams to them because they will pull us they will bring us then closer to our dear swamini that we can do the seva together with them for her yes guru yes yeah. i understand so read <laughs> Shri Raghunath Das is deeply absorbed in his Swarup Avesh. You see, as time of not Sanjari, Sanjari Bhav and as time of explain sanchari bhav and sai bhav um again trying just to repeat what i've heard um sai bhav we can compare to an ocean 
and the sanctuary. These are these bhavs, which are like the waves. And uh, there are different bhavs which Radharani experiences in her day-to-day -day lila. And these sanctuary bhavs can be having, being in man, hasya, uh, joking, anger, envy. All these sanctuary bhavs are actually there to nourish much more the lila and also increase the feelings. And um, I, I think that the, st the stai bhav is something which Gurudev always says that we have to find our stai bhav, which is this uh, deep ocean. And uh, sometimes this, uh, these waves come, but we know that the, the waves are just helping us to move further, closer to, to the goal. Like Gurudev said that sometimes the waves are very high, then we should ride that wave also. We should ride that wave because we don't know that it can bring us really there. But then, of course, when the waves go down, um, we should always try to come back to this stipe half of being a, a, a kinkiri of a, a, a dasi of Radharani. And um, I think my dear brothers, Guranga Sundar, and also Dave Pran and others are much more... Uh, experienced in these bhavs than me and i really would like also them to 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 share a bit and uh, help me in that way also please guranga sundar also come with me on that wave <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you very much gopinat for your offering <laughs> to serve you Yes, this Thai Bhav, <coughs> the base of everything. Thai Bhav means fixed Bhav. Mm. Fixed Bhav. And when the waves are coming, they're just increasing this fixed Bhav. But without fixed Bhav, without Thai Bhav, waves can bring us everywhere mm. we can be confused and we cannot relish the rasa what is meaning of bhav deep deep emotions mm. which are completely yeah. focused on one goal what is the name of uh, rasa Bhava Mai is one of the names. Okay. And Mahabhava. Right? And Mahab. Yes. When my bhav will not become a side, how I my bhav can be thicker? Bhav means feeling, right? Yes. If my feeling is not thicker, how I expect to reach there? Condense. I have to condense my bow. Right? Yes. This is our star. This yes. is our core. How to make myself, my bow condense? You see, I give always the example of Jesus. Jesus bow was condensed as a son. In any circumstances, not moving. When he is not condensed, many comes and go, no meaning. Mm. But one Jesus comes and half of the world start following to him. Because of the condensed bhav for the father, right or not? Mm -hmm. See the real essence of the practice that is Sambandha again. When my bhav is, bhav become condensed. 
we are practicing to make our bhav condense in material world and so many time my son while so many time my grandfather and my father so why are we so good in developing material feelings and so we can develop with our ignorance of my forcing of and my last last say he live in this body and false ego say this is the reality that i am your boss mm. keep in this consciousness that i can control you if you go in the soul consciousness my existence will finish because you will not relate with your senses and how i can control you you will not relate with your material body how i can i will dance on you i will be your boss and you have to follow me i will make you to dance and you have to dance as by my direction why we come shake because of false ego make body sick so much torturing false ego and my lusty desires that i become sick i cannot fulfill their services i cannot nobody can fulfill so many life we try to fulfill with so many bodies animal body dog body big body now we got the human body still we are trying to fulfill the false ego satisfaction by consciousness by knowing relation is also animal has no relation we are more conscious this and than animal but after that lust is not ready to leave us and ego is not ready to leave us. this is the sickness this is the pain and suffering and if i try to develop my consciousness as high in myself to think only soul is not as high because of the faults he go and last i cannot meditate for 5 minutes because of that 5 mm. minutes <laughs> after knowing that we will leave this body and then i 5 minutes cannot meditate on that Huh? Where we are? Who captured me? Hmm. And Krishna come to capture you, or anyone? Your my false ego captured me. That is Kaliya. Kaliya can be only quite. when krishna will dance on the head of the kaliya then he will bring out the poison and when krishna will dance on the head of kaliya that is bhajan mm. dancing means your name is so high that false you will not disturb you is a kaliya the dancing on the head kaliya is name of the krishna in my head so false ego will not throw poison inside me is a poisonous we know that we are dying but again we want to drink that poison <laughs> <laughs> Check yourself. 
we cannot live without his eating inside me. And then five minutes, ten minutes you meditate in the soul that you are not this body, you are soul. Only this do. You cannot, because a thai bhav is not there. My fixed nature is not there, <laughs> not confirmed. Who confirms it, Guru? Who gives me the fixed nature? Name. And Lila's Maran. Not philosophy. Name and Lila Asmara can fix. How do you think feeling has to grow? Without feeling, no rasa. And without feeling, there is no rasa. Rasa, and then in a manjari bhav you will see without feeling, without bhava, there is no rasa. And that our goal is not Radha is my Swamini, is not my goal, is my Swamini, is done. My goal is Ananda. To keep the Ananda, to make both them near to them. Feeling and rasa. I want to see always feeling and rasa. That is Manjali Bhav. Mm. My Kishori only merited 89. <laughs> you know, read other. Other in Vilapu Samajit. He say, if I will understand this, I will, un then I will go for further. I say, you read so many times, you don't understand. <laughs> I have to realize it. Then my understanding will come. Okay. If you don't believe, you can see, she's sitting here. She will say that. About come close, how you will get why to be a room? What? <laughs> so I am reading only this one verse because Gurudev is teaching. Gurudev heard from his Gurudev that if he focus on one thing, he can understand or not understand, but realize everything. Mm -hmm. So, can I, my husband? Come here. <laughs> He's most naughty, <laughs> my disciple. To me, I worry that he not leave me. That is my worry. I always catch him, catch him, because I give this name Kanai to him. <laughs> he said, this is not my fault. <laughs> so Kanai was... Oh. Can I was inspired by by this teaching of Gurudev and in his meditation always focused on Nittai. So he chose one topic, a whole big topic, Nittai, and through this was able to relish all the other topics also. And he inspired me to also choose one topic or verse or even one sentence. So I chose this verse, 89, and actually even only this one sentence about <laughs> Hava and Rasa and Ananda. So I am trying to meditate on this and 
relish it by the mercy of Gurudev and his explanations more and more. Mm -hmm. So I can realize this and not only be inspired for one moment when I'm sitting in the class or meditating that it's nice, but also that I can really feel this in my everyday life. And now I feel inspired to share um, two days ago. I went to the temple because right now very nice kirtan is going on in the temple, special kirtaniya for singing. And they are so ecstatic. And so in the evening time, I often go to sit there and just meditate. And they sing until 10 o'clock. So when they were finished that day, they were all so happy. They stood up and said, Kirtan makes your body happy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was so inspired because I could see that sentence there, what he said. Because the sentence was that without Pava, there can be no Rasa. And without Rasa, there can be no development of Pava. But without Rasa and Pava, Krishna and Radharani together, there can be no Ananda. Mm -hmm. So I felt that singing Maha Mantra brings Radha and Mohan together. So mm -hmm. they are together in this mantra. And so it makes the body happy. Ananda. <laughs> and I'm hoping and praying that more and more I can see this in small things in my everyday life so I can develop and, and fix my path also. <laughs> You can see that she comes from Estonia. She, Estonia named by atheist country, and she is talking this. This is the greatness of realization. I'm very proud of them. When I see their growth, it's all mercy of good day happening. And I'm very happy to see this. And now my desire to serve Vaishnavas. How to make happy to them is only my desire. Mm -hmm. Radha Mohan will be happy when I can serve Vaishnava. Me, Dom. You're very good in this <laughs> no, Making us I'm trying. I'm learning. I'm learning. Seva sadhak rupena, siddha rupena chatrahi. When you come in a sadhak group, always engage in service. If not, then his lust will not go. And ego will go by chanting mantra and lila's mantra. It's a flowing. Lila is mother. Flow the past time. And a flow means your Krishna is there. Means Krishna is dancing on the false ego. Because name is there. He has to come because I'm calling him. 
and he will dance in my false ego it will automatic poison will go out <laughs> he will not die he will quietly sit till you are chanting again he will jump out <laughs> because he is not going to die because i not kill skalia you see mm -hmm. right. he can again <laughs> Mm -hmm. Again, come with the poison. <laughs> the moment you stop it, so you know there are. Yes, go on. Read my. I just have. Uh, sorry. How deep meanings are behind that? That I want to show you. Because I know one day you have to share these feelings to others. I am ready to go, but you have to do it. If you realize it, you will help so many people. So many suffering soul will come out from this sharing. And this is the real service for the take birth in material world. Mm -hmm. Yes, friend. Only I have a one friend, Satavata. Mm -hmm. Best friend. Best friend. Heart to heart. <laughs> to heart. Sri Raghunath Das is deeply absorbed in his Swarup Avesh. Yeah. <sighs> In the way he experiences things in his smarana, dreams or visions, and he reveals his desires for attaining devotional service. One thing I will take time. We can ask Madana. Dreams? No, Asmaran is the first. Mm. What is Asmaran? Mm. Say someone. Mm. Is a remembrance. Yes. Thinking. So they said to, uh, to associate. Uh, associate will make you to think. Right? What you are thinking? <laughs> After thinking, what is happening? As Marana, sometimes we remember the words, but we don't want to go meaning of the words. What I think, I dream. What is second one? Dreams. Ah, uh, dream. What you will think that you will dream. <laughs> if you are sleeping eight hours, you will dream, dream that what your think mind is going on. What is in your way of thinking, my, you will dream that. <laughs> so four, six hours you think something and eight hours you sleep. How many time you put for that? Fifteen hours. Mm. 
go on. Or visions. Huh? Visions. And in your eyes will come like that. What you will see, that way you will see what you are practicing for 15 hours. So what has to change? <laughs> Where to change it? At the beginning. <laughs> what is that beginning? It's a thought, it's a meditation. <laughs> That's the beauty of the practice. If I keep a 15 hour one thought and I chant for half an hour, it will work? <laughs> no, 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 never. <laughs> And if you 15 hours this job and you do two hours outside and that you, in the service you do, all will be positive. For your somni you do the job. What will the problem will happen to you? Or you do eight hour job and 15 hour your mind in thinking. Hmm. One day, Balram asked one question. <coughs> Give up, come to. Yeah, say Balram. Yes, I was asking that, especially now, or maybe any time in in European day-to-day uh, -day life, we are doing some meditation, some practice in the morning, and then. We have a day full of things happening and then it can be very difficult to focus in the evening and, and get inspired to, to do again some spiritual practice, meditation. And I asked Gude if he can advise me how to, to raise the energy in the evening again or how to yeah, use the time better in the evening. But he answered actually something else, like he turned it around and he said, use the eight hours during work, during your day, like he said now. Скорее всего, это у Гурудева, потому что я слышу тебя, Гавин Замахин. Рада, рада. It seems that we have some problem with the connection. Yes, all in internet in Munger broke, actually. So we have to be patient a little bit.
Radhe, Radhe, can you hear us? Yes. Yes, Gopinath, uh -huh. now we can hear you. Uh, what's there happened with the translation? Call... Okay. Sorry? What's happened with translations? They are still connected or? Still connected, you know? Uh, one second. Uh, I actually. Yeah, now it should be working again. Okay. Rather. Yeah. I would have, I just wanted to add something what Balram said because it's actually a beautiful realization which you gave to his question. And our dear friend Krishna Chandra once told to us that we always think, how can I integrate Radha and Krishna in my life? But actually, he said, we should think, how can my life, how can I? my day-to-day -day life be integrated in their pastime. Like, how can I always be engaged in their service and pastimes, whatever I do in my day-to-day -day life? I should always think and feel that I'm doing it for them. Yeah, oh. And I feel this is... <laughs> this is the point. I will take karma when I will do for me. <clears throat> be careful not to become again animal of pig or dog. So many lives we, we cross with the pig body and dog body. And we preparing in this life also to become pig. Prabhupada said many times, I list read this his classes. Why he say like this? My karma, when I collect my karma, I have to do that. Right or not? So be careful with the karma. And what Gopinath is telling, repeat again. This way you're not taking karma. You become audience and they are actor you do because they say you to do and you are acting instrument puppet you work like a puppet is not your duty the puppet master master to make you to dance and you dance so you're not doing then you not take the karma. But my false ego will never ready to accept this. Mm -hmm. This is the false ego game. <laughs> false ego said, no, this is your karma. <laughs> take karma. <laughs> Become pain. <laughs> no problem. Because they are so ignorant, they don't know. Every action is a positive reaction. Newton's law. Newton's law. Newton's law. Yeah. Every action is a positive reaction. No, Yeah, go on. Explain about that. Yeah. If you understand, very good. If you're not, then you have to go in Newton's law. <laughs> right or not? My friend, say yes or no. <laughs> Yes. yes. So, in a way, he experiences things in his smarana, dreams or visions, 
He reveals his desires for attaining devotional service. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It will become clear one day by your mercy. Krishna Bhakta Hoy Baruchatu. Explain this Hindi. Krishna Bhakta Hoy Baruchatu. Gurudev likes this very much, just saying that uh, devotees of Krishna are very clever. Why are they clever, Gurudev? <laughs> because they know. <laughs> just laugh. Newton's <laughs> law. <laughs> and who is not Krishna devotee, they don't know Newton's law. They have no idea because the false ego is answer. Mm. I'm dancing as a puppet of false ego. Clear? I want to show you one small baby. Come here, Punya. Hello <laughs> there. In 2002, I see her in my lap. I am playing with uh, her. <laughs> and now his name Punyam. He is the son of Shama Priya. Everybody knows Shama Priya. He is studying and working in Norway. And he got the job in Vrindava and is coming back <laughs> to develop his spiritual life, <laughs> to serve mother <laughs> and to work in Vrindava <laughs> and studies from there. Yeah. So much more astonishing. <laughs> and he never leave any classes and he never leave Japa. I become angry to him. <laughs> Do seva. <laughs> after keeping your japa, but he doesn't want to leave the japa. <laughs> I explain <to> him <laughs> that you have to leave your japa to do the seva. He don't want to leave, he wants to do the seva also with the japa. <laughs> He knows Newton's small law. Child. <laughs> he knows Newton's law. <laughs> I never say to do that. I say you to do any promises I do no. from you. <laughs> Just give love and mercy. Sure. Yeah. Go on. It's so size he will not say you and we have to go. <laughs> if Rasma will not see. So he, I have to respect. Go, I will not disturb you. <laughs> Either you disturb me or my mind disturbs. So I would rather that you disturb. Oh, no. <laughs> you are blessed with your mother and father. They are all Vaishnava and Vaishnavi. You have to be fortunate that you are born with the golden spoon. Mm. You never taste the meat and fish and these things. If you sometime by mistake do with your mistakes are separate thing, but from childhood 
they know to eat, give this much. So you have golden spoon you got in your life. You must see. Good vibration they give you. And after that, no understanding comes. Means before was some heavy body was that. Understand that. Previous was heavy karma. You got the human beautiful female body now. Grow it and develop for the service. In crucial world, you got it here. I feel fortunate when I listen about you and your sister. Very proud. You have to be proud to of your mama and papa. I'm very proud of them. Very happy. Go on. They are teaching me greed and devotion. Yeah. Go on. After taking her meal, Swami holds court with her suckies, sitting on a beautiful raised jewel seat, enjoying a pan. Now Lalita, the leader of the suckies, will perform her arati with lamps, incense, and so on. The maid servants bring all the paraphernalia. One wave of devotional servants after the other is coming over them. No one knows how to serve Radha so expertly as her maid servants. Without full surrender, one cannot perceive this devotional service to Radharani. Yeah. <coughs> Sripat Prabodhananda Saraswati has written, May my tongue become overwhelmed by relishing the nectarian flavor of Radha's holy name. May my feet <coughs> walk over Vrindavana's pathways that are marked with her footprints. May my hands be engaged only in her menial service. And may my heart meditate on her lotus feet. And may I develop love for the Lord of her life, Mohana, through her festival of emotions. Yeah. 
बस राधा राशा सुधा नहीं थी राधे there is very important point which is stressed actually mm. i want to develop love for krishna through her to radhika's festival of emotions jaro garanga where you still this <laughs> Only from your guru. Um, I, I realize. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I just said, and we can meditate on this. Oh, say something. Hmm? I understand. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the mood of Manjaris. They don't want to worship, to love Krishna independently. Mm -hmm. Whatever they do for him, they are doing because they are completely loyal. to radhika and all her feelings are penetrated deeply in manjari's heart different devotees has different moods of worshiping and love and many of them wants to worship krishna directly because they want his own personal association but we can see here the way how manjari is thinking on him they want to love the lord of radhika's heart through her festival of emotions it means festival of emotions it means so many waves are coming and coming and coming and coming and coming and manjaris are also feeling these waves of radhika's emotions and in that way they want to worship and love krishna and put them together i said shortly which i still from gurudev and acharyas Yeah, there, there was one time when Rajkumar was reading without full surrender, I think mean, cannot experience or perceive devotion service. Now, what does full surrender mean? Atmanivet. Atmanivetan. in in by shama raj is always telling me i love from my body heart what you say soul body mind and soul body mind and soul this is full salad body mind and soul body mm. also not separate mind and soul that is atmanivedana 
He said this one is in the they say to the Jesus that I love you mm. with a body, mind and soul. This is Atman Vidana. I don't remember this word. His four words he's telling body, mind and soul and more one four things. You will see that. Heart. Uh, body, mind, soul, and heart. Means, yes. Soul and heart. Means, poor thing has to be surrendered. That is Atma Nivedana. <laughs> there is nothing else. Are Jesus? is also talking Vedic philosophy. Prema Bhakti is a Vedic philosophy. His spiritual life is a Vedic philosophy. Religious life is the different, different sect. His spiritual consciousness is a Vedic philosophy. It based on body, Mind, soul, and heart is a universal. Huh? Is a universal. Soul is there. Everything is okay. That is a universal truth. How can I surrender in my sadhak? <laughs> <laughs> Not that he go will catch you. <laughs> Association will make us like that. Mm. We can, we don't want to do that. Mm. <laughs> but the mercy, one day, Goranga Sundar say, mercy, mercy, mercy. Bada Baba is telling, mercy, mercy. This is mercy. What is impossible, it happens in my life. This is mercy, yeah. What nobody likes to do that, and I, it happens to me. This is mercy. I do efforts, but I cannot do it. But mercy comes, it happens to me. This is mercy, right? Mm -hmm. I try, but I cannot do. I try, I cannot do. Whole life I fail. But the moment mercy comes, life change. And when life change, my all karma, what by mistake happened, is all change. So means full surrender only possible for people? Yeah. By God. I hate to be Kripa. What you say in English? Causeless mercy. Causeless mercy. So patience is also important. Why become impatient? Because of lusty desire and the ego, I become impatient. And if the patience is coming in my life, means they are slowly going energy down. Mm -hmm. I have a patience, means the energy is down. Negative energy. I mean, coming out from the influence of negative energy. See that? When negative energy will come, you are very impatient. When positive energy will come, you are patient. You have a big patience. You are very quiet. <laughs> See the judge yourself. Gurudev, 
Uh, yeah. One thing come to my heart from your word now. Yeah. Can I share? I will bring her, Kishori, my Devi. <laughs> yeah, same. Thank you very much. So you say, when you are in positive, we are in positive, means, positive means our original position means Fradini Shakti. Yeah, mm. and consciousness, Chaitanya yes. consciousness. Consciousness means that I know myself. I am I am part and I am a soul. And I have to think that. Then mm. Gopi Bhav comes. This is Gopi Bhav. Gopi Bhav, to be in soul consciousness is Gopi Bhav. You become Chaitanya. Is a Gopi Bhav. You are not become female. Your body is a male body. But you are conscious with your 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 identification. Then material ego and lust not touch you. So you are not a male. You are become you are waiting for enjoyer. You are not an enjoyer. You want to enjoy it by enjoyer. So you wait. Real girl nature to wait. What is the waiting? It means wait for real enjoyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before you told me, I asked the same question. You. Then we wait for enjoyer, then enjoyer come and say, no, 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 I'm not a goal. She is the goal. <laughs> Mommy, come. Is your goal. Mm -hmm. They will make you normal and real happiness. Take certain of that. I bring you out from what I covered you. Now you have to follow this way. Ten, ten Bhagavad Gita. Mm -hmm. Yes. First assign them, ultimate goal will come. Do you see this? Everything is Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> My Jananda say, I research and I find everything is in Bhagavad Gita. Mm. How elevated he is, I'm proud of him. All are progressing here. Yeah? Our Zoom classes is when it happened. One Two and a half years? Mm -hmm. No. One year. More, more, more. You see, so fast progress. Mm -hmm. How much benefits they are getting. All become now ready to share and talk. Even my Kishori. Go on, sorry, I, I want to listen to you. Yeah, say. So that is the point. When you realize that you are Chaitanya conscious, What's become quiet? You have no time to talk. You want to go move in that direction. Understand, Kishori? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for your strong web. We are very happy in drawing. <laughs> Thank you. Krishna has to help us to bring out 
what he create for with me twice without his mercy i cannot go through that krishna helps so first you assign with krishna because okay you bring me out from condition hmm. ping pong nature and independence then he said after that i will show you ultimate goal prabhu pas jaitanya se krishna se in shrimad in bhagavad gita tan tan and last prabhupada show us in the last paragraph of the gita how krishna show you pleasure giving potency then we become normal mm. when we follow pleasure giving potency then normality is comes in mm. my life <clears throat> right you know see that what is not i am not normal no i am not we are not normal <laughs> without following somani Hmm. Go on. The acharyas have expertly shown in their books how to surrender to Shirada Rani's lotus feet. It will all be experienced by the grace of Rupa. Acharya, you read the first line, word, mind, dream, and vision. It also meaning Um, what is in my mind? What is in my body, soul and heart? This all is connected. Is all connected. That comes in the dream. Go and search it, and you will realize. Guru, there. Hmm. When you say thinking, this process of thinking has to be also supported by strong feelings, because. It's not. Yeah, I agree. Because if we are just thinking on something. We are forcing ourselves. It's not spontaneous, and these samskaras will never be carved in our heart. So, the mind has to be supported with the bhava, with feelings, and then dreams yeah. are coming. Yeah. And by the mercy. Yeah. Great. material world so i am thinking yes really to change the grid so in thinking depends on intensity of feelings or we can say greed yeah what brings what attachment i am greedy i think. yes Yeah. 
मानो प्रति चित्त वृत्ति वृत्ति माइंड थिंकिंग चित्त वृत्ति आई दम टू दर्किल अपार And if my manobhuti change, then automatic chitta vritti will help you. Explain why. Ananta Das Baba Ji writes uh, that we have to connect our mind, heart, and soul with those of the acharyas, and through that we will move from manobhuti to chitta vritti. Alone we cannot do, but if we connect with their minds. With their feelings, as Guranga Sundar says, then we will move to Chitta Vritti and live in this pure stage of consciousness. Say that Vritti means, and what is the meaning of Mano Vritti and Chitta Vritti? Because then it will be philosophy. <laughs> yes. Only English, Hindi word I will remember. Mm. Mm. So, unfortunately, our dear Raghunath Das Goswami, uh, sorry, Raghunath Bamsi is not here. He's the expert <laughs> of explaining Mano Vritti and Chitta Vritti. Um, so, Mano Vritti already says the word Man. No, it's it's what the mind, what the ego is thinking and feeling. And Chitta Vritti is that what our soul and our Swarup is feeling and experiencing. So, um, yeah. And Vritti means. Circle. Circle. I have a compass. You can choose with compass. Yeah, yeah. I'm keeping for this. <laughs> Got it for you. Your circle. You see, my mind is in manobhuti. I will make circle. Again, I will make circle. New circle. One circle, two circle, three circle, four circle. All will be cut one circle with others, and I have twenty circle, and my mind is moving in that circle. Mm -hmm. This is manovriti. Mm -hmm. I keep compass to show you, and this compass when move here in chitta vritti, then he moves compass here. Never goes out. Never go out. If it move little moving, it will not go here. Mm. Is a man of mind and is a chitta means my consciousness of soul. Mm. Where is your compass? Where is the mind fixed? I will make circle there only. <laughs> Mm. And I will suffer, but I will enjoy to solve that circle. Circle a problem. If you make the circle here, mm. in chitvati, in your soul consciousness, this problem will be. So many people are ready to help you. They navigate you to bring right way. Mm -hmm. You make no many circle here. It will be more easy for you. And here you make circle. Nobody will help. More they will disturb you, and nobody is ready to help you. More circles will happen, and more circle we will make, and we will die. We will become sick and die. Because I am making circle in my mind, problems creating in my mind is a circle. Hundred of circle I make. Yeah. Understand? Guru Dev. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. One doctor. Yes. One doctor Would says, you? "Where my attention goes, my energy flows." <laughs> That's the point. Mm. I know when I see some sick people, I know, but they will not pay the fees. They will not 
listen they will not listen me mm-hmm. they will pay the fees to psychologists they will pay the fees to the doctor then they will listen but it's very easy it is a circuit wrong place you are making yes this time mano the even the psychologist will not understand i see everything but they will not listen to me because they say you hey, what he knows about these things and i see you sir <laughs> I keep, you have to put one pencil in that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you take up. <laughs> and take the different point of compass. You cannot move compass other page. You can make in one page that circle. how you will make the page if you don't know other pages existing or not <laughs> this is the point mm. cool i was thinking then now then how to stop this circle making you cannot stop <laughs> mm. you cannot stop is false ego business <laughs> so then we have to live in sorrow to stop it ah that's the point <laughs> you first you have to come to chitavarti and make circle if how many circle you will make your way is more open <laughs> more more thing will be clear make circle there <laughs> Mm-hmm. So that's why we need to listen nada kata more otherwise we cannot find uh, we can change the place from here to here we cannot do by my effort. not normal not normal prabhupad what you listen last line <laughs> you will be ne- if you want to be normal you have to take pleasure giving for dancing mm. without this potency means mass of shri guru dev we cannot move mercy is on the way mercy is on the way we cannot afford mercy waiting for money but we have to be greedy for that mm. greed is the only qualification greed is only qualification for mercy ah to greedy right mangala she live here and she hold her son to japan i will talk with jananda are you take service and she has no time to serve in bindavan she is always ready to serve but she has no time to serve here <laughs> manage Management is very strong in Japan. We have no any management. <laughs> But she is very fixed in the service. I am so happy. Yeah, she is oh, very responsible. That's well, I'm very responsible. and the response greedy also <laughs> greedy she has a greed yes what well, think goranga sundar wanted to say something yes goranga maybe it's not important 
I just wanted to say actually that this manovrit also we can understand like mentality. Yeah, and that the good. And this mentality that emotions creates mentality. Whoa. Because Whoa. and this is the reason That's why good. we need proper sangha. Through proper sangha, sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sarve shastrakhoi, we can got proper emotions, spiritual emotions, mm -hmm. and in that way develop our spiritual mentality. Okay. Otherwise, like Guru Dev explained, we can put our needle in opposite direction. In <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Don't do this. You confuse me. <laughs> wow, very nice. Very nice. You got mentality my depends on emotions. That's the point. Because mentality which we have now in this life is the result of mentality from previous lives. And which yeah, kind oh, of mentality yeah. we are developing now it will bring us in another life. So this is our responsibility to our soul <laughs> existence to develop proper mentality, which is based on spiritual emotions. That's I wanted to say. Wow. What a big thing to check. Wow. Very nice. She has. Keep it here to next week. It's a very high subject to meditate and <coughs> research in our search. Mm -hmm. Please.